Let's talk about school readiness, an instructional video for parents, teachers and schools. The new year and the first day of school is around the corner. Finally! Parents and children experience a range of emotions as the day approaches. Feelings of sadness, fear or even excitement. And for parents the emotions can be explained because they often ask the following question. Is my child ready for school? To answer that question it will be important to consider a few things. Consider the following developmental areas. Can my child see and hear? Name all the basic colors. Name basic shapes. Name basic body parts. Use the toilet without help. Dress himself or herself. Hop on one leg 10 consecutive times. Stand on one leg for 10 seconds. Gallop like a horse. Catch a ball between the hands. Draw with a pencil, colour between the lines, draw a picture of a person, draw basic shapes, cut with scissors. Listen to stories and rhymes, sing along to songs, tell stories, speak using full sentences, count ten objects. Take turns, complete basic tasks, express emotions, follow one to two step instructions, separate easily from caregivers. Not all children have mastered all these skills by the time they have to go to school. And this is where we need to think about the support needed to get learners ready for school. We need parents, schools and communities to work together to provide the best environment for learning to take place. In certain situations where school readiness is being questioned, one can consider the following. Number one, being realistic about the expectations for grade one. Number two, starting grade one with a clear plan as to how the concerns noted may be supported. Number three, with clear evidence of developmental delay is evident, applying for temporary exemption of school for one year. An extra year in Grade R might give children who are late bloomers time to catch up. To apply for additional time in the pre-primary phase or Grade R, follow these steps. 1. The school or preschool should capture the application for exemption from compulsory attendance on CMIS. 2. After successful capturing of the application, a form will be generated. 3. Print the generated form. 4. Parents and school principal must sign this form. 5. Attach supporting documentation. and 6. Submit this complete application to the district-based support team. What supporting documents are needed? Educator contributions may include two to four pages of the child's work and drawing of a person, an individual support plan of the support that will be rendered to the learner in the pre-primary phase, parent contributions, and professional reports which may include reports from a psychologist or a therapist, etc. As an education district, we believe in building a strong foundation for children to learn and develop according to their ability. Together with your help, we can provide the best start for our children who embark on this journey of 
education.